Many of these families' lives have been ruined. Today, they arrived at the inquiry for a chance to tell their stories. Among them, former sub-postmaster Baljit Sethi, who was wrongly accused of false accounting and lost his job. It was a very successful post office. We never had any problems. Of course, we had seven armed robberies. But my wife was very brave. And we did not take a single penny from the post office. She put her life above everything. Over 14 years, more than 700 post office workers were prosecuted for false accounting, theft and fraud. But they hadn't done anything wrong. Instead, the losses were down to a faulty IT system. Noel Thomas was accused of stealing £48,000 from the post office and spent his 60th birthday in prison. What was it like for you to be in jail knowing you hadn't done anything wrong? Oh, it was hell. Um, I was sent to Walton. I was locked up for eight days, 24-hour uh, lockup. And, you know, it was a fall from grace. You know, you, you went from the top of the ladder right down to the bottom. Lorraine Williams received an 18-month suspended sentence and lost her house. It's been horrendous. Still gets me upset now. Um, my health has suffered really bad. I suffer with um, alopecia and not just alopecia. It's scarring alopecia, which means my hair will never return. Um, I ended up with diabetes. My poor daughter has suffered in school. More than 70 criminal convictions have now been overturned, including 39 in a single ruling at the High Court last year. But hundreds more are still waiting for compensation. This inquiry will examine whether the post office knew about the faults in the IT system and look at why the staff were blamed. Today, the inquiry chairman said it was important to understand the scale and nature of the harm that had been done to so many. The post office say all victims will receive compensation by the end of the year. But so far, no one from the organisation has been held accountable. The families hope this inquiry means that will change. And after years of suffering, they will finally get justice. Leila Hayes, 5 News.